Hey guys, um, I have another update for you. Um, alright, let me show you what I did. This was the uh, marker I showed you guys last. Uh, it's completely done, and um, I added blood in um, the back of the arm where it looked like it was pulled out. Had a little pool of blood, and then maybe um, if it was like going through the arm or like under the arm and then spilling out into this little puddle or something or maybe that's from a completely different thing um, ultramarine shoulder pad in the back of most likely what would be a commander so um, I actually think this really came out well the only thing is it leans too much that way and that doesn't make sense with the blood dripping and the gaps because those would be falling down but other than that I really like it um alright so this guy is done he is like the um champion of the squad even though they really don't call him that but you can give him fury of Cahorn. um this is just normal troop he is done these were the two guys I had done. Um, this guy is the next farthest. I gave him a wash of brown ink. And I highlighted all the purple areas. Um, that's really all I did with them. And then the, this guy and that guy are just base, co base coated. This guy has the instrument of corn which I actually took that on the list. I took Fury of Corn on the list, but I didn't take the standard because um, <clears throat> I didn't think it'd be very useful. I just gave him that because I really like how standards, standards look on squads and stuff. So let me change hands so I can focus it. This is the instrument of Corn. I only got his base colors purple and the base color red, but I actually forgot that I did do the blood red wash on those two guys. So, um, those two guys are ready to go in the brown ink wash. This guy's ready for, um, detailing. And I'm not sure what color to paint the standard. Um, I don't want to paint red because that would be too much red. I was thinking about purple, and <clears throat> I'm not sure about that because um, purple doesn't go on that well, and since it's a big flat area, I'm not sure how excited I would be with doing that. Um, so if you want, give me a t um, if you want, give me an idea for what color. And then also, I built this guy, so he's ready to go in the painting, green stuff. This guy doesn't really need green stuff on his legs because it came close enough. And I sort of like his pose, like he's off to the side charging. But, um, so there you go, six guys so far, I got four more to build, paint out. Um, Demon Prince is standing on this I also made, but it needs, um, some other stuff on it. Um, I know with the brown ink wash, the blood, um, might have a little too much brown in it. Um, the camera actually doesn't even show it all, so it probably looks pretty not, pretty good on the camera here from the view in the back of the camera, but, um... I made it so it looks like the blood spilling out and I know this is way too much blood to be coming out of one head that small so um, I'm gonna put like um if I can get my hands on it the body of something right like up in here and I'm gonna have like a bunch of blood dripping out like straight down so it's coming from that and this guy so you know it's 
going down like that. But, um, yeah, right now it, it doesn't really make much sense with only the little head. Um, he, the, his head just has the first base coat on it, too. I didn't paint it. And then the front face is all blood. Um, yeah, not much effort into that. Just, just want something quick that would look like blood spilling down it. Um, I was going to get Hills from Bootleg Tattoo once I get the money after my Xbox. But, um, Bootleg, if you are listening, um... I'm not sure how much I can still do that because there's just a bunch of other stuff that I need to get. I mean, I really need to flesh out this army to at least a thousand points so I can start playing at my local game store. And, um, I also have to, um, oh yeah, I have to get, also have to get the new rule books one of these days. So, I'm not sure if that's still going to work out. Um, I might try making some more of this kind of terrain um, by myself with this foam. The only thing weird about this foam is it's still um, like squishy. You know, you can press it in. Um, I did coat it completely in glue. That's why I was able to spray paint it. Um, I'm actually surprised it's still holding up because uh, the foam was um, insulation foam and it you can like just touch it with a knife and it would rip open but uh, it seems pretty good quality foam to make um, terrain out of I have no clue what kind it is um, my dad got it from for me from his work so I don't know. thought that was kind of cool um, that it works. I might try making some more like sort of altars or summoning circles or something like that, you know. Um, maybe some zeech stuff like some crystals, some blue crystals or stuff. Because my army is corn and zeech. And I was thinking about either adding Nurgle or Slanesh. But that will be after this list. Um, I will add on. Um, after, this is only 1700, um, I will probably make it a 2000 point army with, um, maybe some Slanesh stuff, and then maybe I'll keep going with some Nurgle, more Slanesh, and more other stuff, but, um, that's what I got done, um, I've been pretty productive with 40k stuff lately, getting my blood letters done. Um, I only got four more to build, so that's only five more um, to start painting, and then three to finish painting. So, um, it's looking pretty good, and hope to get some more stuff done and update you later. Thanks. Bye.